Well, hello and welcome back to uh, Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes 3 vs. Green Arena. Doya's first opponent for his final week of the season is Remus Romulus. I guess they're a fan of the Roman Empire. Uh, they're from Indoor Legacy. They have 803,000 Legacy score, 11.7 million GP. And um, what did I do with Doya's defenses? I know I changed some of them around. Uh, I got Darth Revan. Old Ben, Tuscan still. I did the same thing I did on my main. I put Holdo with uh, Finn and Zori. General Skywalker's got uh, Vibes and Echo, so we'll see how that goes. Um, got Trench still, Jabba out front, Lord Vader, Dark Trooper Moff Gideon, and then Rey with her Revive Kron. And Remus um, has at least four GLs on defense from the looks of it. Okay, so Sierra Trench, Qui-Gon with the Camcron, Ray with the Holdo Cron, uh, Jabba, K, and then what's down south? Okay, so Leia, Lord Vader, Finn, Darth Malgus, and Darth Revan. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. But I do have five GLs on offense here, so we'll have a little bit of wiggle room. Uh, Leia. Ooh, protection up, crit damage, deflection, crit avoidance, blah -de blah 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 However, we will be throwing Mr. Bane at her. So, um, yeah. Uh, which Datacron is it? No, it's this one. And the issue is going to be if... if I'm going to have enough Datacrons to get through all these teams, or if I need Datacrons for um, all these teams, I guess we will, time will tell. Uh, go ahead and do that. Let's go do this. Ah, uh, sure. Why not? Uh, um, maybe this will stun him. No. But it got through some of his protection, so that's good. Oh no. That's not good. That's not good. Oh boy, that's not good. Okay. That could have ended pretty badly. Okay, let's get rid of their buffs. Because I'm gonna AoE again with that. Good. Because I really needed Drogon dead before they started doing ridiculous things. I mean, okay. It paid off. So the Holocron has the 100% tenacity. No one can die until everyone's dropped below 100% health. They have the stacking offensive speed whenever people die. They have extra health steal, crit avoid, not uh, health and accuracy crit chance offense. Just thinking because I took Seer off of defense as well. Maybe thought she could do something against one of these teams. But, um, like I said, the issue is going to be Datacrons. Datacrons, Datacrons, Datacrons. Because, yeah, you can't really put teams on defense without them, but then you also kind of need them to deal with your opponent's Datacrons on offense. So it's a bit of a freaking mixed bag of pain here. Oh, well, that's nifty. Thanks, Ben. You bastard. Mm, he's triple armied as well. Interesting. Excuse me? You just decided to nuke out Drogon? Excuse me? You gotta be fucking joking right now, game. We're just gonna nuke out Drogon? Of all people? Really? Who the fuck died and left you in charge, Ray? Oh, 
Oh my god, we're they're just going ballistic on my Lega team. Well, at least she doesn't have any more protection at least. I mean we still gotta get through the bonus protection though is the problem. Oh, Holdo's dead, so that's good for me. Oh, I lost R2, so that's not good for me. And I'm nowhere close to another ultimate, so... We may be looking at a two-shot on this Ray team. That's spectacular. Relic 9 on Ray. Absolutely ridiculous. Um... Okay then, Ray. Okay then. It's gonna be one of those days. Um, Jamba has protection offense boosted. Dark side allies have offense and speed. Backing when people die. I just... The fact that she whirlwinded Trogon out of existence that quickly is insane. Absolutely insane. Like, who died and left her in charge? Like, that was, that was some grade-A bullshit right there. I just cannot believe they did that with such ease. I mean, hey, at least Holdo's gone, so that makes things a little more manageable, but not much, because Ben's still alive. Um, Ray's obviously still alive, so, you know. Don't know. I probably should have cleansed. Oh, never mind, he lost his taunt. Uh, let's go for this. Let's go with that. Goodbye, Boosh. I'm gonna start smacking around Chris Sandston. Let's go ahead and cleanse off those. Good at that. Uh, ba -da -ba -ba. Let's poke him again. Let's keep playing past the team around with uh, Kylo here. And yeah, let's go ahead and hold. Might as well. Oh, damn you, Jabba. You didn't have to kill my freaking First Order Officer with your bombs. Oh, 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 they didn't die. <laughs> Let's go. I mean, they're about to, but they didn't, so that's <laughs> that's good for me. Uh, now the issue, however, is we still have a Vader to kill, a Darth Revan and Darth Malgus team, but that, those can be dealt with pretty easily. And we still have to clean up a, 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 a Ray, so. Ooh, extra potency and crit damage and resistance, the Doubtcron, the offense boost. Ooh, that's gonna hurt. Oh well. Gotta deal with it somehow. I don't want shock T. Um. Yeah, we gotta deal with it somehow. Um. Wow, I have a really bad selection of Datacrons. Really need to get more worked on for Doya with Conquest, but. Name back until a couple days from now, so. What are, what are you to do? What are you to do? Thank you, Maul, for immediately wasting that. I greatly appreciate you for doing that, you dummy. I mean, now I can't get Sheen onto JMK, but that is an acceptable issue at the moment. Because now we can. Let's go ahead and call Pat to assist. I really need... Uh, Damage immunity on JMK. I'd rather not lose the. Uh, what is it called? The savior mechanic. Can't think of what it's called right now. Yes, I know. Calling cats kind of silly at this point, but you know. I'm just trying to get. Uh, oh, come on. 
98%. You've got to be kidding me. And now we don't have a turn until after General Kenobi. Damn it. That was a big, big hit. And yeah, let's keep calling it that. Why not? Let's get that damage. Rocking and rolling on her. You know, if he wasn't an ultimate, we would have had healing me on him. And then he wouldn't have been able to heal. But he was in his ult, so not much you can do about it. Other than deal with it. Let's go ahead and get rid of those debuffs. Back to GK we go. Uh, yep. Okay, okay. We're getting some some stuff rolling. Come on. A couple more hits. We don't need him healing. Just let him die. Boom. Hey, it was only a two minute fight. It's actually quite, <laughs> quite impressive for my luck. Uh, Darth Malgus has whenever the game buffs recover health protection, tenacity, crit avoidance, yada yada yada. But we gotta split up uh, my Jedi to ensure I can kill both Revan and the Malgus team. Gotta be able to kill both. So, yippee, we gotta go up against a High Relic Sith Empire team with, I think, Talon. Yeah, with Talon. I couldn't remember. I'm like, is there a Talon? I don't know. <laughs> It's not like I didn't just see the team five seconds ago whenever I was loading into the fight, but you know. Here we are. Uh, it's basic. Ooh, we can go for Talon, maybe. Before she goes back into stealth, possibly. Pretty please. Oh, come on. I thought he was at full team now. I guess not. Whatever. It's fine. Nice. We got the stun on her. Let's call Cal again. Let's get rid of that shock and foresight. Not foresight. Blind. Sorry. On Mace. Get it off of him. And then... Ooh! Good little dodge there. I really need to turn with Jedi Cal so we can nuke Malgus and then just focus down the Marauder. Now let's do this. Uh, I'll take it. Okay, Darth Revan. Ooh, have protection up. Offense accuracy. So not as big of a worry as I thought it would be. We're still going to go with Jedi Master Luke. Obviously, because... Yeah. Uh, let's give that to Jedi Knight Luke. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and knock her out. Yeah, there's no point calling assist onto, uh, Revan, because you can't assist against... <laughs> what, what, <laughs> what I was trying to say is you can't assist against Revan as he gets nuked by Luke, but... <laughs> okay. Okay, so the resistance team here under Finn. Oh, okay, that's actually not as bad as I thought it was. I mean, yeah, whenever debuffs expire on enemies, they're getting 2% offense. Uh, whenever they're going to spell the game potency and tenacity up, they do have extra health protection off and tenacity. And Finn will be assisting like a madman. But it's not as bad as I initially thought. Because I thought this team was going to be like a lot more of a... Just menace waiting to happen kind of thing you know where they just go haywire i mean they probably still could let's be completely honest here because if we allow finn to start taking turns then they will go haywire so we need to keep them under control
Or we need to kill him flat out, honestly, is what we need to do. Okay, get some retribution rolling. Focus down Finn yet again. The leap. Maybe get him knocked out? Nope. That little bit of extra health and protection is really, really doing wonders for him right now. They are going to kill my Jolie before... Okay, never mind. God, we have the Savior mechanic with Jedi Revan as an option. Um, let's throw that around. Can he... Can he stop? Oh, just... Stop? Oh my god, you two have got to kill him. Thank you. Because they were just going to keep going haywire on us until you got him killed. Like, damn. Hoping we could get her knocked out before she went stealth. Oh well, it is what it is. Not much you can do about it. Oh, I was like, why is this Poe taking no damage? Well, he's also Relic 7, so... He also may have a load of... Ten, uh, not Tenacity, but uh, defense thrown on his uh, mods. Also having crit hit of immunity helps. Yeah, that also helps greatly. Even though he has buff immunity, he still has crit hit immunity. Okay, game. Make it make sense. Come on now. Hmm, let's call Joe Lee. Because we need protection on him. Jesus Christ. Why are they hitting so hard? I know it's because he exposes as well, so that'd probably actually make up a lot of that answer right there is the exposes causing so many issues. What a nasty little team. That, that was a longer fight than I was wanting it to be, but what a nasty little team that was. Yeah, sure, why not? But we're going to take and see here against the Ray in hopes of killing it. Or at least killing Ben is the hope. Ideally, beating the team now would be great, as opposed to not being able to beat it at all. Um, the problem that is going to rapidly arise is Ben's ability to ignore protection, because he has all three Omnis. So, um, yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> Okay, well, he dropped below... Somehow he dropped... How did he drop below 100% health? Or 50% health? I didn't think we had damaged him any. But okay. Okay, I'm not going to complain about that. I legitimately don't know what happened there, but... Alright, so we're going to lose Watt to her Whirlwind in a second. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and relink him. Why not? Not Whirlwind, but her ultimate stance. Whatever it's called. I know Whirlwind is the other one. That's why I'm like, wait a second, that's not right. She sure loves that Whirlwind ability, doesn't she? Talk about perfect timing, Ben Solo. You bastard. I get so tired of these healing immunities. I'm just, I'm, I'm, I don't like them, bro. I mean, I get why they're in the game, but like, why does he need a healing immunity on a ability? 
And those provide like more viability for the team and all that jazz, but like the fact that I'm probably gonna lose a C here doesn't help my anger at all. Oh no, yeah, we're definitely not gonna win now because another healing immunity as Ray is an ult. What are you supposed to do against that? You have a, a character that can ignore your protection. You have Ray doing Ray things. How in the hell are you supposed to counter that without losing your ever loving patience? Like, how? Are you just supposed to say send it and like not use a GL against her? Like, what? What? I don't. I don't get it. Like, I. I. I don't follow the correlations here. You know. Um. Might as well get why. Why this team has to be so stupidly good. Ray is a good GL. She does not need to be 18 times stronger than she already is, okay? Like, she just is not. <laughs> we're, just, we're just gonna fucking insta-kill Palpatine. We're gonna insta-kill fucking Palpatine a turn in. Fuck whoever made these Datacrons for the Resistance. I hate you. You have brought nothing but pain and misery to this community. And you deserve to have your toe stub every time you walk by a desk. Like, I hope you stub your toe every time you walk by a desk. Because fuck you. Um, so Dark Trooper Moff Gideon has, of course, the offense boost, the Doubt Cron, the Tenacity Resistance, critical damage, blah, 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 blah. I'm gonna have to try, um, the Sidious approach to the killing this, because I legitimately have no idea if this is gonna work at all. But, yeah, like, Doya's, I didn't post Doya's Gak to end last week because of Ray ruining it with, guess what? The Raycron. Shocking, I know. A Datacron that BS ruining the game? What? Never. You know what's stupid? Is I have upgraded the mods on is Sidious, and it still doesn't make a lickety split a difference if I don't get turns in edgewise, you know? How did I not land debuffs with that AoE? Excuse me? Oh, I can't feel protection back because of the doubt on the Quran. I hate 3v3. Not that I was much fan of it to begin with in the first place. For a while I did okay in it, but now I'm back to flat out struggling because of, guess what? Bullshit Datacrons ruining the game. This is why you did not see the end of last week's Grand Arena from either one of my accounts because both of them went almost exactly like this. Here on Doyle, like you know, like you've seen how badly it's gone on Doyle so far. That's how badly it was ending for me on both of the accounts. Like, it wasn't fun. I had... It's, it's not... It's... Yeah, it's... No. No. <laughs> nah. Like, this this meta we have right now for Datacrons and... Uh, Grand Arena as a whole, this ain't it, Chief. Like, Nah. If I wanted a rock, paper, nuclear bomb meta, I would go play literally any other game. But no, here we are having to deal with stupid Datacrons. Ruining the game. Can't wait for the Gunga one to ruin the game anymore. Um, let's see. Of course, extra crit damage, resistance, deflection. <clears throat> Excuse me. And whenever the game buffs, 
uh, the light side characters recover health and protection. The problem I'm going to have here is that the Sith Empire I have is actually non-existent. Where... Oh yeah, because I don't have... These talents not Sith Empire. Duh. Um, anyways. Um, the problem I'm going to have here is... Survivability and damage output here. Because we need to get... Obviously, Malakos killed as quickly as humanly possible. The problem also is... Is Ahsoka Katana Fulcrum. She can hit like a truck. Malakos hits like a truck. And since I don't have any way of doing like the big like drain. Like with Malik. Against Malakos, you know. I'm like, what am I to do? Other than just, I guess, slowly chip away at his health. His protection, I guess. I don't know. I would really like the leap to come online so we can go kablop on him. Nope, one more turn, of course. Uh. Well, that was handy dandy. Very cool. And that still wasn't enough to kill him? Excuse me? You mean to tell me he barely has enough health to avoid a second nuke from Malgus? Like, what kind of X-Men shit is he on? Fuck off. Okay, now the problem is Seer and Fulcrum. I guess we need to go for uh, Seer first because she can throw up the damage maybe. So. And I guess doing 200,000 damage to <laughs> her protection wasn't enough. Uh, okay, whatever. It's gonna take a lot of leaps to get through Seer, then. Oh. Okay, I guess not. Okay, Fulcrum... As long as we can keep debuffs on her, she's going to constantly be dispelling it among herself. So, the other issue we have is she gets four side up pretty easily. Okay, Malakos MVP. Malakos, Malagus, wow, I just said that wrong. Malagus MVP. Unless we can make a Seer team work. I don't think we can kill this team. Uh, we can try. I mean, I don't know because of the fact that they have TM stripping and all that jazz. But like... I guess we'll see what this team can do. I do need to turn low with... There we go. Malakos. Ooh, we almost got... Oh, wait. Oh, 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 wait. This can work because they can't revive these are Malakos's, uh... Ami. Completely forgot about that. I legitimately completely forgot about that. They can't... Dark Trooper Moff Gideon can't revive them because of the fact that, you know, we have that Ami with Malakos here. That says no to reviving, so I don't know how I forgot that. See, it's just a wasted turn for him. Okay, so maybe we can clear his back soon then. <laughs> I just I can't believe I completely forgot about that just now. And the fact that they keep taking so many turns is greatly helping me and Seer because of the fact that, you know, she likes it when her people take turns to help charge up her uh, lightsaber throw. Of course, we aren't doing really a lot of damage, but, you know. 
That's kind of to be expected. Uh, let's do this. Throw some more rocks. Ooh, got a stun finally. Okay, this is not going to be good. Hmm. But actually, this may not work because if we can't get Gideon killed. Well, if we can, okay, here's the thing. We have to kill Gideon in one fell swoop to ensure he doesn't take a bonus turn and re and like take the health off of a uh, health, but uh, you know, summon in another archer. Um, so... Hmm... Gotta think for a second. Oof. Okay, that's not good for Seer. Okay, let's see what this does. Not enough, apparently. So some more rocks, I guess. Oh, come on. We were so close to getting him killed, but then he just gets that little bonus turn there. And he's able to get that stupid fucking Bark Tripper back up. And then he's back to full health. God damn it. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. I meant to do the uh, other one, but whatever. That's fine. Uh, let's hit Dark Trooper real quick. Excuse me? A 400,000 damage hit against Malakos? Excuse me, but what? Excuse me, what? I honestly don't think I can clear this zone anymore now that I'm thinking about it because... With Dark Trooper getting able to um, just decimate my team like this, you know, what 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 is one to do, you know? Because you can't heal while they have, while you have doubt on yourself, obviously. Um, Okay, let's get an armor shroud on him, I guess. Oh, that's nifty. We did it. Fuck you, Gideon. I'm torn between taking Scion or Savage in, because if we take in Savage, we won't have a way to cleanse off the taunting, but if we take in Scion, we can. Obviously, we have to take in Nihilus and Treya, because Treya can isolate, Nihilus can annihilate. Um, so, you know, yeah. Uh, let's go ahead and do this. And also, more times... They start critting people, the better things will be for me. Now the problem I always have is I don't remember which of the Tuscan raiders I'm supposed to anni uh, annihilate, isolate first is the problem. So bear with me as I struggle with this again. Um, of course we don't have any way of getting rid of... Okay. Um. See, now my problem is as soon as Nihilus takes a turn, 
he's not gonna be able to. Okay. I, like I said, I always get them mixed up. We're gonna leave the summoned one isolated for now. We'll focus down the other Tuscans. Sorry, I'm not trying to like make this battle longer than normal. It's just I legitimately do not remember the correct way of dealing with them. So bear with me here. <laughs> it's always a relearning experience with me and my slow self. Uh, let's do that. Okay. Well, that's a good thing we brought in Scion then, with that uh cleansing capability. I still need to figure out if I can even beat. Uh, Secret Shadows Tier 3 with my Night Sisters on my main. Like, I've got Talia ready-ish. The problem being is that every single time I've gotten to uh, Wave 4, City immediately AoE kills my entire team. So, you know, that's nifty, I guess. Annoying, but you know, what is one to do? Okay, well, at least we got rid of IG's BS for now. The problem being is we really need to start getting plague rolling across the board. Honestly. Unless we can somehow get around bb 8 stupidity and get IG-11 killed. I don't think we can get this team beat. Because, like, every time I get a chance to hit IG... Oh, wait, I could have... Whoops. I guess I also need to pay attention to more when he's taunting. There we go, no more IG. Now the problem here is, is getting BB-8. There we go, alright. I guess was we'll hit auto? I don't know. If we can land a stun, that'll help us immensely, obviously. Awesome. Took longer than I was thinking it would, but that's just more because I'd be dumb. We're gonna see what Padme can do here with uh, Ahsoka and Rekka. So... Nice. We got Terra knocked out. I think we're nice. We got Ezra. Good. Uh, let's go ahead and do that. And keep shooting Sabine. Apparently, she likes spreading the armor shreds, but. Okay, so Qui-Gon, obviously we're going to have the 100% offense, 100% defense, health steal. Whenever people die, they gain health, uh, offense and speed. Um, but, yeah, am I upset I wasn't able to pull clear? I mean, yeah, but like, am I happy I was at least able to clear the back zone after I, you know, kept stumbling against Darth Maul Moff Gideon? Yes, but, you know... That's just more because of the fact I wasn't really expecting Rey to be as much of the impervious bitch that she was, so, you know. Here we are. Would it be? Would it be? There's not much you can do about it. Okay, that hurt a lot. No. 
Oof. Oh no, 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 no. Damn it. Damn it, Anakin. Damn it, Cam, you bastards. Damn it. Okay, so we've got potency up, tenacity up, immunity to daze, health steal, accuracy, protection, offense. Um, where is the... Yep, them. Do we have anything to help them? Sure, why not? It's my last Datacron I have. Might as well. I still have yet to even do a battle for Doya's squad arena. Whoops. Oh well, that's fine. Not the biggest of worries. We'll deal with it after we're done with this. <laughs> after we're done with this. Now let's go with that. Beautiful. Now let's go on Django to get out of danger immunity. Whatever the hell that'll be. Oh yeah, it gives them Ripusay whenever you use a special. That's annoying. Okay, now we need to desperately and rapidly get rid of him. Or don't. There we go, okay. Hmm. Okay, Trench is dead. I guess let's go clean up the, uh, these yahoos here. Um, let's see. Ooh. Yeah, sure, why not? We'll do this. These three yahoos. Oh, God. Well, that could have been worse. But at least it's cleaned up. But yeah, unable to kill Ray. That's annoying. Having the two shot Qui Gon, that's just. You know, kind of normal. And then the fact that it took me many battles to kill Dark Trooper off getting back here was annoying. But, I mean, all things considered, I, uh, I'll take it. Interesting. The so last I had checked, he'd only done, like, one battle for 65 banners. But, obviously, in the end term, since I last checked, he's actually attacked and done pretty spectacularly well. I mean, he hasn't cleared fleets for whatever ridiculous reason. Oh, he's actually in the process. Oh, oh, he's struggling against Negotiator. Okay, so he's in the process of trying to clean up that. Uh, what else? Did he drop much of anything else? Oh, he dropped a couple fights on Trench. Killed Ray easily. Go figure. How much I could do about that? Uh, and he looks like he struggled. Yeah, in the back back here as well, so. Oh, well, I... Uh, I'm going to end up losing here on Doya because I can't kill his Ray. So, I don't know if he'll finish full clear me, but, you know, it's a loss just because I couldn't kill his Ray. Uh, anyways, if y'all enjoyed, don't forget to hit like and hit subscribe. Uh, thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys later. I hope you have a good rest of your day.